Hello, welcome back to another video in the shop, obviously. Um, yeah, no, no car boot videos. What's been going on? Uh, it's my son's sixth birthday and it rained on Sunday, so was it worth going? That's what you gotta, is it worth getting up at six o'clock in the morning when sleep is um, lacking at the moment, to be honest. So you gotta make, is it worth going? Probably not worth, but Saturday would have been worth going. I'm not, no doubt it was blazing. Couldn't make Saturday. Um, son's sixth birthday and weather wasn't great Sunday. So yeah, no content, but man, oh man. As with tradition, let me just show you what's, I'm in the middle of packing this. So this is sold. Um, is it? I always get this flipping thing mixed up. Um, PJ Masks, yeah. PJ Mask Truck. Uh, just packed it in there so it doesn't fall out. A few car, a couple of cars, figure, 30 quid. Now, they live in the B44 postcode, which is still, it's a bit of a distance. Like, I might end up over there when I'm taxiing or something, but. I have to have it in the car and see if I can handle it. I don't want to really go out my way to, to deliver this. Um, struggling for a box, so this is what I'm gonna do. This is basically this is what I do with all these sort of toys. Um, split a box down if I don't have one big enough. Have it so that covers like that. Hold on a second, let me just give you some information I don't normally give. Um, yeah, so if you look at that, that's nice there that will fold over like so okay that will fold so now looking like a box cut into the sides there so it folds in sort of thing same this side uh, probably yeah that sort of thing there there we are. Fold, fold down the ends. And uh, yeah. That's how I would personally pack that. Some of you might add a bit of bubble wrap. I've I haven't had I haven't bought bubble wrap for months. I'm doing without it and I'm doing okay without it. And I've even sent breakables. Um what we got in here? Records, Ronnie Size, Madonna, what was that? A rare light. And these have been flying out. These are sleeves. Um, if you didn't get it in the last video, I bought loads of these, basically two pallets worth of uh, sleeves. Tenner a pack in store, or if you want to buy a box, which is a thousand sleeves, um, it's 70 pound delivered for a thousand sleeves. These are not. Uh, these have gone up to nineteen nineteen pound fifty a pack on Amazon. Hundred in a pack. Uh, I've got oh, sealables, resealable ones as well, and inners as well, which are where are they? Over here. Box. She's a box. She's pal. Got these. Um, Brushes, inner sleeves. So these are, I mean, if you're that much of an audio file, got them as well, five or a pack. But yeah, a lot of you have um, took me up on the offer and um, I've sold a few boxes to some to subscribers who've, who got to that part of the video because most of you just cut it off as soon as the car boot footage ends. Um, what else has sold? Um, an Alanis Morissette Jagged Little Pill HMV release for 50. Um, to be fair, I have been keeping it on top of the parcels, and eBay's been good, to be fair. As well. I've probably said that about five times. Now. Um, eBay's been good. So, what else has sold? I hear you ask that I have shipped. Um, I'll try and get some recent stuff, stuff that'll be fresh in the mind. Top Gun soundtrack, 
15 quid. No surprises why that sold recently. Uh, yeah, PJ Mask truck, 30 quid. Uh, da, 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 da. A lot of sleeves. Breadmaker. You would have seen me pick that up for two pound. Um, Panasonic, forty four ninety nine, um, and that's kind of confirmed now. Bread makers, if it's not Panasonic, not interested. So yeah, only Panasonic bread makers for me. Um, Jurassic World figure, the one that had the stroke, broken neck, fifteen quid. I had an offer. Well, someone asked me if I'd sell it for fifteen quid. I was like, yeah. So, what did I pay for it? Three quid. It's broken. Money's still money made. Uh, what else? What else? What else? A guy bought about ten records all in one go. A pair of vans. I bought these vans. Two, I don't know, eighteen months ago. So it's kind of a mistake because I put. 400 quid into it you know it's a lot of money to put into something to to sit on for this long but they have been selling very 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 slowly but they have been selling sold a pair of vans 65 quid anyway a pair of lacoste trainers 24.99 yeah so the jurassic world figure has gone not to a subscriber not to a subscriber i don't think anyway the answer said Nothing can come between us single. £24. £24. Hello? Oh, what do you mean? Sade. What do you mean? Is she Irish? Is it an Irish name or something? Is she Irish? Where's the S? Where's the H? Where's the R? Where's the Y? Said. Sadie. Said, whatever. Sade. Um Said single. That I put that on and it sold literally a couple of hours later. Rolling Stones, Miss You, Far Away Eyes. I've sold this twice now. The first one was standard uh, 12 inch single black. The second one if it's pink, 25 quid. That's the one you gotta look out for. 25 pound. Um yeah, the crep the crep protect as well. I picked them up for a pound on a Friday car boot. It was a, I think it was a pound for the box. So I had a couple of them there, eight ninety nine, seven ninety nine, nothing nothing major, nothing major. But yeah, the reason for the video. Oh my god. It's quite often I say, this is the best record deal I've had. Or, this is the best record deal I've had in the shop so far. And then the next one will come along and it'll be like, this is the best record deal I've ever had in the shop. And it's happened again. I don't think there's beating this one. I don't think there is beating, I'll say it again. I don't think there is any beat in this record deal. It can't be beat. It can't, I mean, it, it could be beaten, but what well, the shop's been open over a year now. And I buy a lot of stuff, and we get offered a lot of stuff. And I do buy the vast majority of it. Nothing like this. I'm, I don't really get excited about records, but I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm very, very close to being excited about this deal, this haul of records. So, if you're not interested in records, you know, you can go and watch something else. There's loads of other people to watch. If you do like records, I think you might enjoy this one. Um, and there is a lot of reissues, no doubt, not reissues, but it's just the, the music, what's there, and a lot of people are buying um, records, re-releases, but very few people are selling them. And I think is it because of the the economy? 
do people realise like oh god look you know I'm sitting on a lot of money my gas bill's just dropped on the on the doormat I need some money now uh, is, is this why it's happening I don't know um, this is the first kind of deal anyway I'll get on with it this is the first kind of deal I've ever been offered and I've been able to get so let me just set you up and I'll come back in a second oh god my hands are just like I've just been walking back from Asda with 50 bags of shopping oh right here we are it's it's the top one not the bottom one um yeah let me see what okay here we are here we go are you ready um not much in the way of um seven inch apart from there is a couple of standout bits funeral for a friend Funeral for a friend, another one. Into Oblivion, that's coloured vinyl. What colour? I hear you ask. It's like a teal. Get in there. Get in there. Fight Star Red. Twin Atlantic. And that is reversible sleeve limited edition so apparently I don't know if it's I don't know what they mean by a reversible sleeve but it's a reversible sleeve uh, another fight star Mercury Summer um, Charlie Simpson Farmer is gone Pink Floyd there's not much yeah that this it wasn't about a seven inch it was about the albums um, try and yeah we'll start off standard Re and it is the condition as well the condition nice condition dark side of the moon first out of the box then rise against the suffering and the witness because uh, like a lot of them are unplayed. Royal Blood. Um, unfortunately, this is not my style of music, so I can't uh, say I've heard of Royal Blood, but I've got it. Stone Roses. Because of the condition, it's got to be a, it's got to be a rich. I mean, twenty quid anyway. Very nice. I've had it in the shop before. Flies out. System of a Down, Toxicity. I think I had this before, and literally the same day, someone come and took it. Good to have. Twin Forks. Um, Twin Forks. I don't know what the name of the album is. Is it LP? They don't, they don't really say these days. They just put Twin Forks. Um, Two Door Cinema Club, Two Door Cinema Club, Beacon, yeah. I've got a lot of listening to do. Ha! Huh. Radiohead, The Benz. <sighs> wow, I don't think I've ever had any Radiohead in the shop. Of monsters and men, my head is an animal. Yeah, great stuff. Uh, Mongol Ho Mongol horde is that the name? Of yeah, Mongol horde. Mumford and Sons, sign no more. Never seen. Never had a Mumford and Sons. More Mumford and Sons. Wilderness, Wilder Mind. You got any Mumford and Sons? Yeah, yeah, got some Mumford and Sons. Newfound Glory, Kill It Live. I don't know if that could be. Is that. No, it's not sealed, but yeah, looks. No. Beautiful. I've, I've got like. We don't have it in the Grunge Collection. Uh, 
box. Now we've got an Indian wood box. Because here we go. It's Nirvana, never mind. With his little dink, with his little, little dink, yeah. Uh, yeah, reissue. If it was a um, uh, first press, be a lot more than twenty pounds. Um, new order technique. I think I sold that on eBay. What I do is normally leave it in the shop for a while, see what happens. If it's hanging about, I've got bills to pay. You know, it's got to go. Uh, more Nirvana this time. Unplugged in New York. Nice condition again. In utero, Nirvana. Very nice. Linkin Park up next with Hybrid Theory. London Grammar. If you wait, the luminaires self titled, is it? The luminaires, probably the Mannix, everything must go. Reissue. Um, Million Dead Harmony No More. We're still going. We're still going strong as well. Because next up, Metallica and Justice for All. Yeah. I don't know. If that's an original or not, but I've done the research on it anyway. Um Grant Nicole Grant Nichols, Yorktown Heights. Probably need to check that that price but uh yeah nice i think guns and roses i think that's a single actually uh rocket queen interview with axel rose guns and roses not have to really bear that too fair depends what happens um next up hell is for heroes the neon handshake I mean, it feels brand new it's all been opened and, and played, but so well looked after. Uh, next up, Idlewild, everything written ever. Imagine finding this at a car blue, all this stuff. Unbelievable. More I Maiden, uh, no prayer for the dying I Maiden. Yeah, don't think I've had that one. I've had this one. Um, Iron Maiden, Power Slave, had that. Literally didn't last two seconds in the shot. Jack White, Lazaretto. Next up, Jimmy Eat World, Bleed American. It's all sort of American presses, I think. Um, it seems anyway. Uh, what's this? Uh, Jake Bug. Self-titled. Can't be bothered to think of an album name, so I'm just, just going to call it after my name, Jake Bug. Uh, next up, John Mayer, Room for Squares. There we go. Uh, what is this? What is this? John Mayer again. And this time he hasn't even bothered to put his name on the front. He's just put now. Leave it off. They'll know who it is. Uh, reissue of Led Zeppelin. I never never remember what number that one is. But again, we don't bother to put the name on the front. Um, next up, Gaslight Anthem, handwritten. There we go. Some more. Gaslight Anthem. The 59 sound. Some more Gaslight Anthem. What's that? Sink or Swim. Nice. Some more Gaslight Anthem. American Slang.
Green Day, American Idiot. And some more Green Day, what's that called? That Dookie. this who is this razor razor i think it's razor and tie again i've had to check the small print to see who it was oh, one second we've got to have a lunch uh up next again someone who's failed to put the uh, name of the band on the front but it is I haven't put it on the back, but it seems like a good record. It's two sort of Halloween people on the front. Uh, count, this is so heavy, man. Counting Crows, August and Sound, August and Everything After. God, that's heavy. That feels like a triple. Falling down. Get up there. Get up there. Are you ready? Hold on. I've got. I've just got a taxi job. Right. It's like an hour. I just had to nip out and do the tax job. But it's like that was at six. It's now seven. Um. Yeah. Still a big chunk to go. Um. And here we are. Oasis. Heathen chemistry. Really sure that. Definitely maybe. Nice that people always come to the shop, you got any oasis, you got any blur? Yeah, no, I don't. But if I did, and if it was an original press, would you pay the price? Probably not. But these are reissues. Won't hang about anyway. They won't hang about. What's the story, Morning Glory? Reissue. Again. The problem with these. The floating shelves cannot handle the weight of them. It's a bit heavy. The Civil Wars. The Civil Wars, self-titled, I'm guessing. Oh, hold on a sec. Uh, Alabama Shakes, Boys and Girls. Not sure about that. Bastille, bad blood. I have had this in the shop before. It didn't sell, unfortunately. So that had to be eBayed. But here we are again. We'll give it another go. Bastille. I think it's a soundtrack to the film. Uh, next up, Ben Howard. Oh, I forget where we were. There we are. Another Ben Howard. Every Kingdom. And we got next uh, your favourite weapon. So, um, I haven't heard of uh, a few of these to be fair. Um, the early November currents. No, the early November in currents. I mean, again, it's all like new condition. Enter Shakiri. Take to the skies. I've heard of them. Couldn't tell you any of their record songs, but I've heard of them. Uh, here we go. Charlie Simpson. Um, Long Road Home. Split into different letters to make it very difficult to read. Um, this guy hasn't just... The ha he hasn't put uh, the name of the record, he just put his face and expects people to recognise who it is. Um, but reading the small print, it is um, Dallas Green, I think. Hotel California, that has to be a reissue. 
Yeah, it's quite a bit rich. Nice. Uh, more Counting Crows, August and Everything After, live at the Town Hall. Nice. Eric Clapton Unplugged. We're still going, we're still going, we're still going. It's the Civil Wars Barton Hollow. X. Now I do know that is Ed Sheeran. I do know that. X. Uh, Flogging Molly. Drunken Lullabies. Got a feeling they're Irish. Something's telling me. Frank Turner. Tape Deck Heart. Uh, some more Frank Fur no, Frank Turner. England Keep My Bones. Funeral for a friend. Welcome home, Armageddon. More funeral for a friend. And that is... Mm, could be self-titled. We're still going. We're still going. So that is for the shop. The next bit I'm going to show you is for eBay because of the prices it's just very rare very expensive um, so we've got angels and airways we don't need to whisper pretty rare apparently um, I mean the condition it's like new the Beatles mono masters like new I don't like using the word mint I don't like using it I don't use it Blink 182 take off your pants and jacket not in this video you never know um, oh crap what's up? oh yeah sorry I'll put too much weight on the, uh, my little stand. <laughs> there it is. Come on. Get it. Okay. Pedestrian verse. Frightened rabbit. I think it's frightened rabbit, pedestrian verse. I think that's what it is. Um, then more Blink 182 I think that goes with that 7 inch I think it's either that one or the other one but yeah Blink 182 what's that called Mightier Than Sword Feeder Comfort in Sound Feeder, pushing the senses. Feeder, Echo Park, gatefold. Very nice and very rare. Um, Oasis, uh, be here now which is an original first press, which, yeah, never had a first press Oasis. I've had reissues, not a first press, so. That will be on offer in the shop because somebody might buy it in the shop, but it will be eBay, there's no doubt, because just you get the most value. Um, I don't think this is Part of the, I don't know, this shouldn't be in this section, it should be the general section, but Red Hot Chili Peppers, Red Hot. Um, by the way, 
put that there. So that's not like mega expensive. Um, new found glory, sticks and stones, gatefold. There we are. Reuben, red car is race car backwards. No, Reuben, race car is race car backwards. That's right, actually. Race car is race car spelled backwards. We've all learned something today. Um, last but one. Yellow card. Yellow card. Never heard of them, but apparently it's expensive. And this. Now to the untrained eye, vinyl enthusiast might see that and know exactly what it is straight away. To me, I'll just see a black box. But it is Metallica box set. Has it got a name? No, but yeah, a Metallica box set. Um, with what's it got inside it? Yeah, it's got all sorts of records in there, which is good. So yeah, there we go. That's the collection. That is. It has to be said, the best collection of records I've had in the shop. And it's stuff that I need in the shop because now I can safely say I've got an indie section. Um, okay, there you have it. That is the best record, that is the best collection of records I've had in the shop since opening, in my opinion. Um, I have a feeling over time this will happen more and more because people that are new to the collector's market getting into records, they just might think, oh, I'm not, I'm not listening to these, I'm going to sell them. Um, so yeah, I, th I think it's going to happen more over the time. Uh, the first time it's happened here in this sort of volume. Um, but yeah. We've gonna we're gonna have an indie and grunge section, which we don't have. People come inside. Where's your um, indie section? I start laughing at them. It's like I got one, because in general, it's all new. It's all new stuff, or it's so rare, you just can't get it. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. <sighs> hopefully, hopefully, <coughs> car boot this weekend. I mean, I really need to get to a car boot because. I think I need to keep eBay active, keep it going, keep the uh, oils, the cogs oiled. Um, yeah, feed the beast and um, it will keep paying out because it has been good. No, I've got no doubt about it. Um, and I have, have I been listing as I should? I've been listing, I've listed everything, everything I've got from the car boots. So I don't really have anything left. Um, so yeah, just got to get some more stock and, um, thanks for watching. I hope I didn't bore you. And if you want, like I always say, that stuff is for, it's for the shop. I want it for the shop to make the shop look good for the customers that come here week, week after week, um, stuff for them to look through. Um, because what would happen is if I said to everyone, oh, if I've done all online orders for all of it, then the shop wouldn't be a good. Yeah, I'm making money, but it's not good for the customers. For the shop, wouldn't come. So, yeah, just look out for the stuff on eBay because, wow, see in a bit. Bye.
get enough on now. Um, some other news, because I might as well get it over and done with in this video. If you've made it to the very, 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 very end. Look at this. Oosh. 10,000 subscribers. Wow, that is it's some achievement, I tell you. It's not easy, YouTube. Um, but it's about the views. I always said this is about the views. Subscribers, it's views. I appreciate subscribers, but I appreciate views. Views pay the bills. So, yeah, I might do like a more of an elaborate um, celebration in the next car boot video. So, just watch out for that.